Matatag K-10 Curriculum Math 4, Quarter 2, Week 3 Divide two numbers with and without regrouping two to three digit numbers by two digit numbers. Estimate the quotient when dividing three to four digit dividends by one to two digit divisors by first estimating the dividends and divisors using multiples of 10. Solve multi-step problems involving one or more of the four operations with results of calculations up to 1 million including problems involving money. Day 1 Short review Find the quotient 12 divided by 4 So the answer is 3 25 divided by 5 The answer is 5 42 divided by 7 The answer is 6 24 divided by 6 4 81 divided by 9 9 Let us play the game. The boat is sinking. Mechanics for the game, the boat is sinking. The teacher will say, the boat is sinking. Group yourselves into, the teacher will pick a number less than or equal to the total number of pupils. The class will count the number of groups formed and the pupils who did not belong to any group. Remainder if there are. The class will form and write a division sentence based on the groupings. Example. 45 pupils grouped by 7s, 6 groups, 3 out, the remainder, 45 divided by 7 equals 6, remainder 3. Recite the rounding rule. Rounding, find your number, look right next door. 4 or less, just ignore. 5 or more, add 1 more. What are the steps in problem solving? Think, plan, solve, look back. Let's answer this. The cost of 18 books is 4,500 pesos. If the cost of each book is the same, find the cost of one book. How will you determine the cost of one book? So we have here, divide the total cost by the number of books. So the number sentence, 4,500 divided by 18 equals 250 so the cost of one book is 250 pesos subtopic 1 dividing 2 to 3 digit numbers without remainder how many groups of 15 are there in 90 we are going to use repeated addition or skip counting we have here 15 30 45, 60, 75, 90. So the answer is 6. So let us answer this using model. First, regroup 9 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so 9 tenths equals 90 ones. So 90 divided by 15 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The answer is 6. Let's answer this using long division. So 90 divided by 15. So divide 90 ones by 15. So the answer is 6. 15 times 6 ones equals 90 ones. Subtract. So 90 minus 90 equals 0. Another activity. Use models to find the quotient. 768 pesos divided by 24. 
First, regroup 700. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 700 equals 70 tenths. So, let us divide 24. 1, 2, 3. So, there are 3 groups of 24 tenths. So, regroup 4 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, divide 24. 1, 2. Two. So there are two groups of 24 tens. So 768 pesos divided by 24 equals 32 pesos. Let's answer this using long division. 768 divided by 24. So divide 76 tens by 24. So 24 times 3 tens equals. 72 tenths subtract 76 minus 72 equals 4 bring down 8 ones divide 48 ones by 24 so the answer is 2 so 24 times 2 ones equals 48 ones subtract 48 minus 48 equals 0 so the answer is 32 Listen activity. Use long division to find the quotient. Letter A, 85 divided by 710. And letter B, 966 divided by 46. Answer K, letter A, 5. Letter B, 21. Day 2. Subtopic 2. Dividing 2 to 3 digit by 2 digit numbers with remainder. Drill on the division with remainder. Find the complete quotient. 10 divided by 3 equals. The answer is 3 remainder 1. Next, 15 divided by 4. So the answer is 3, remainder 3. 21 divided by 5. So the answer is 4, remainder 1. 26 divided by 4. So the answer is 6, remainder 2. 33 divided by 5. So the answer is 6, remainder 3. 3. Divide using pictorial representation. 77 divided by 16. 77. There are 7 tens and 7 ones. So, we are going to divide 16. We are going to regroup 7 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 tenths equals 70 ones. So divide 16. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 groups of 16 in 77 and a remainder of 13. So, 77 divided by 16 equals 4, remainder 13. Use long division to find the complete quotient. Let us recall the MSB. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. 4507 divided by 36. First, Divide 45 hundredths by 36. So the answer is 1. So 36 times 1 hundredths equals 36 hundredths. Subtract. 
45 minus 36 equals 9. Bring down 0 tenths. So divide 90 tenths by 36. So the answer is 2. 36 times 2 tenths equals 72 tenths. Subtract. 90 minus 72 equals 18. Bring down 7 ones. So divide 187 ones by 36. So the answer is 5. 36 times 5 ones equals 180. And subtract. 187 minus 180 equals 7. So 4507 divided by 36 equals 125 remainder 7. Find the quotient of the following numbers using your preferred strategy. So the answer K. Day 3. Subtopic 3. Estimating quotient. What is meant by estimation? Making a quick, close enough answer without solving exactly. It helps check reasonableness and do mental math fast. How would you estimate the quotient of two numbers? Round to friendly, compatible numbers that divide easily. Then divide the rounded numbers to get an approximate answer. Tip, round the dividend to a nearby multiple of the divisor. Number three, try to estimate the quotient of 73 and five. Estimate the dividend by rounding to the highest place value. 70 divided by 5 equals 14. Solve the following problem. A farm harvested 675 kilograms of lanzones. About how many packs of lanzones can be made if each must contain 7 kilograms? Let us follow a systematic way of estimating quotients. Estimate the dividend by rounding to the highest place value. What is the highest place value in the dividend? So hundreds. What is the estimated value of the dividend? 675 equals 700. Then divide to get the estimated quotient. 700 divided by 7 equals 100. Answer. About 100 packs of lanzones can be made. Number 2. A drip from a lake faucet can waste 4,950 liters of water in a month or 30 days. About how many liters of water are wasted in a day? Estimate the dividend and the divisor by rounding to the highest place value. What is the highest place value in the dividend? Thousands. What is the highest place value in the divisor? Tens. What is the estimated value of the divisor? 30. Then divide to get the estimated quotient. 5,000 is not divisible by 30 if the estimated dividend is not divisible by the estimated divisor. Look for the closest number that can be easily divided by the divisor. 4,800 is the closest number divisible by 30. So 4,800 divided by 30 equals 16. So the answer, about 16 liters of water is wasted in a day. Estimate the quotients. What is the importance of knowing how to estimate? Estimation is important because it makes problem solving faster, practical, and more reliable. Estimation helps you quickly get an approximate answer without doing long or exact calculations. Day 4 Subtopic 4 Problem Solving on Division 
Solve the problem by following the steps in problem solving. A store earned 5,500 pesos on Monday and 6,780 pesos on Tuesday. And the average, how much did it earn each day? Step 1. Think. Given 5,500 pesos on Monday and 6,780 pesos on Tuesday. Ask. In the average, how much did it earn each day? Step 2. Plan. Head in question. What is the total earnings for two days? Number sentence. 5,500 plus 6,780 divided by 2 equals N. Step 3. Solve. 5,500 plus 6,780 equals 12,280. 12,280 divided by 2 equals 6,140. So the answer, in the average, the store earned 6,140 pesos each day. Another activity, solve the problem by following the steps in problem solving. Angela has 12 days left to read a 260-page book for her book report. She has already read 60 pages. How many pages should she read each day to finish the book on time? Next, solve the following problems. Day 5. Formative Assessment Letter A. Find the quotient. Letter B. Estimate the quotient. Letter C. Solve the following problem. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.